We have nearly a month left officially of summer, but it did feel like things are starting to change a little bit, right? A little tease there. I, I looked outside and I was like, wow, did, is it pumpkin season? Is well, it yeah, I, mean, I mean, we were talking about this earlier. You went and bought yourself a pumpkin spice. I, I did. I caved, okay? Cold though, right? Cold. <laughs> yes, it was an iced, what is that? Pumpkin cold foam. I don't know, but you need to try it. It's great. Let's take a live look outside <laughs> right now. You can see uh, our beautiful Rose City and it's 67 degrees and we haven't really cooled down that much uh, because I think our high temperature today was about 71 degrees. So a lot cooler than we saw this weekend. This weekend we were in the 90s. The Dallas was in the triple digits and here we are finally starting to cool down and just in time for that first week of school for everyone. One. And uh, the good news we have to share with you is how this smoke is really starting to move out. So you can see that we don't have any red or purple on the map. I was getting really used to seeing that here around the metro area. Nice to see a change. And we're going to continue to see a change over the next 24 hours or so. So you can see we're here uh, tomorrow at noon. And wow, we're actually starting to see some openings on this smoke map. And that's good news for everyone over here in the uh, Hood River Valley. Uh, we're going to start to see some clearing there as well. And by the time we get to Wednesday, wow, absolutely gorgeous. It's just great to see this smoke map completely cleared out. And that's also good news for our air quality as well. You can see uh, we're in the moderate to good range here in the metro area. And we've been bouncing all the way up into the orange, the red level. So definitely good to see that change and a change here near Mount Hood, near the Timberline area. Also back into the good range. Our friends down there. In the south, not quite as lucky. If you're near Medford, if you're in Bend, you're probably still seeing some impacts to your air quality. And of course, we do have some warnings still in place. That's that gray on the map right here. You can see a big swath of the state still under that warning from the Oregon DEQ. And of course, this making its way all the way up into Mount Hood, but this air quality warning going to last until tomorrow afternoon. And then, of course, we already looked at how that is going to clear out. This is all thanks to some rain uh, that we've been seeing a little bit of a drizzle, a little bit of a mist today, but definitely going to see some more scattered showers over the next couple days. But how much rain are we going to get? Uh, let's talk about by the time we get to Wednesday, you can see we're under a tenth of an inch here in Portland, under a tenth of an inch most of the way down the I-5 corridor. But Thursday, really going to be that day that brings us a little bit heavier rain. So we finally make it over a tenth of an inch there on Thursday, and then you can see some other areas getting quite a bit more. This is going to be very helpful for the Camp Creek fire that they're fighting out there. I don't know if this is necessarily going to stop what's burning out there, but it could definitely help stop forward progress. So let's take a look at that seven day forecast. Like David said, you get a little bit of everything. And so you might be excited like I am to see these cooler temperatures lasting all the way through Friday. Chances for showers. If you're heading out to some high school football on Friday, might want to bring that rain jacket, keep it handy with you. But Labor Day still looking fairly nice. Yeah, I would say the weekend's looking great. 80, 83. I mean, summer makes a comeback, right? <laughs> right. It's like they knew we were all going to be out having a barbecue, right? I know. You'll have to trade the pumpkin spice for something else. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you, Ashley. Still to come, 